Abraham Lincoln, James Garfield, William McKinley, John F. Kennedy. These US presidents did not survive attacks on them. But Donald Trump did. Former US president and Republican presidential candidate for 2024 escaped death in a deadly assassination attempt. Let's dive right in. In a shocking turn of events, former US President Donald Trump narrowly escaped death on July 13 when a 20-year-old gunman opened fire at Trump in a Pennsylvania rally. Now, this assassination attempt on Donald Trump is a grim reminder of the dark underbelly of American politics, a landscape where bullets and bloodshed are all too familiar. Now, while Donald Trump survived with injuries, the incident rekindles the haunting memories of US presidents who have fallen victim to political violence. Now, the United States, a self-proclaimed watchdog of democracy, ironically harbors a violent political history. Four presidents, which is Abraham Lincoln, James Garfield, William McKinley and John F. Kennedy, were assassinated while in office. Now, this history of bloodshed dates to the 19th century and continues to cast a long shadow over American politics. Now, despite its internal challenges, the United States frequently positions itself as a global watchdog on human rights and crime rates, often directing pointed critiques at nations like India. The United States State Department's 2023 Human Rights Report is a prime example, which highlights a myriad of alleged abuses in India, ranging from extrajudicial killings and arbitrary detention to widespread surveillance and internet shutdowns. Now, this brings us to some very crucial questions. Why does America, with its advanced civilization and democratic values, still grapple with rampant gun violence? What transformative changes are essential to curb the epidemic of gun violence threatening the lives of both leaders and citizens? What lessons has the US truly learned from its painful history of presidential assassination attempts? How can United States justify its high-handed critiques of other nations' human rights records, like India's, amidst its own ongoing struggles with political violence? Let's take a deep dive. Now, in his first interview after the attack, Donald Trump recounted the horrendous experience, labeling it as a surreal one. On July 13, in Butler, Pennsylvania, the former president was shot at nine times. He was struck on the right ear and a man tragically lost his life, shielding his family during the chaos. Now, the injured former president clenched his fist and mouthed the words, fight, fight before he was taken away by the Secret Service. Trump's defiant spirit shone through as he expressed gratitude for his survival. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, became the first president to be assassinated. On April 14, 1865, stage actor John Wilkie Booth shot him during a performance of the comedy Our American Cousin at Ford's Theatre in Washington, D.C. Lincoln was accompanied by his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln. Now, following Abraham Lincoln, the 20th President of the United States, James Garfield, became the second president to be assassinated in 1881. Just six months into his term, Garfield was shot by Charles Cuto at a train station in Washington while he was travelling to New England.
In 1901, Republican President William McKinley faced a fateful moment after a speech in Buffalo, New York. While meeting with well-wishers in a receiving line, he was unexpectedly struck twice in the chest at a close range. In a yet another shocking incident, John F. Kennedy, the 35th president, was assassinated in 1963 during a visit to Dallas with First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy. He was struck down by a concealed sniper's bullet as his motorcade passed through Delhi Plaza in downtown Dallas. Now, several presidents, including Franklin D. Roosevelt, Gerald R. Ford, Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton, and George Bush, narrowly escaped assassination attempts. The attack on Trump adds to this disturbing narrative highlighting the persistent danger faced by US leaders. Now despite its internal challenges, the United States often lectures other countries including India on crime rates and human rights. The United States State Department's 2023 Human Rights Report flagged numerous abuses in India. Yet, America continues to struggle with its own issues of violence and political unrest. Now, the attack on Donald Trump serves as a stark reminder of the constant threats facing American political figures. As the nation grapples with this reality, it's worth pondering the words of philosopher John Stuart Mill. A person may cause evil to others, not only by his actions, but by his inaction, and in either case, he is justly accountable to them for the injury.